What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we're going to be reviewing this awesome, beautiful, brightly colored, shiny Marmot Final Wars Rodan. Of course the story behind this figure came from my friend James Hartman. Uh, you know, I pretty much commented on one of his posts saying, wow that's a beautiful looking figure. And he was like, well do you want it? It's for sale. And I was like, I really don't have the cash right now with moving. And then, of course, going to Colorado to see GojuFan93. And then everything that I got from him, it's like cash has been really tight lately with just everything going on. And so I was like, nah, it's okay. You know, if you find someone else, you know, don't wait for me to come up with the money or anything like that. Just sell it. So uh, that's what I, you know, that's what he did. He sold, he sold it to another person. But then he came across another one and he bought it. And then he pretty much said he wants me to have this figure. He sent it to me. He said, take your time on, you know, collecting the money, you know, no rush, anything like that. He trusts me. Thank you again, James, uh, for putting that trust in me. I won't let you down. I'm still working on get, gathering everything together. It is just really difficult right now. And uh, let's just get straight on into this beautiful figure. Enough about backstory on it. I just like giving stories on figures, you know, especially if they come to me a certain way like my X plus Titanosaurus uh, through Rich Eso and so on and so forth like if a, if a figure has a story on how I obtained it I like to give that and share that in the review but enough about that let's just get straight on into this beautiful figure uh, Rodan Final Wars uh, not my favorite movie by far uh, not a big fan of it but Rodan did look pretty cool in that movie I must say even though some parts were you know CGI and whatnot uh, he did look really cool. And this figure, even though it's a marmot, of course, you know, marmots sometimes are color accurate or, you know, they have crazy wild colors. Like, who knows, like there might be a version out there of this figure or, you know, any marmot figure that you may have seen that could be blue, red, green, yellow, whatever. You know, um, just crazy colors just mixed. But this guy is actually, I want to say, you know, of course, Rodan in the film was a kind of like a dark brownish orange um, this guy's actually kind of accurate to a color of Rodan kind of like a fire Rodan if you might be so this could even kind of be a take on Final Wars fire Rodan if you want but uh, very uh, just again in the in the right light I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on camera but he does shine he does he, he it's like he is on fire I mean it, it's a beautiful figure just the, 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 the dark reddish orange to the nice lighter oranges here at the you know membranes on his wings. Um, he, you know his claws and his beak are kind of like a grayish silver, which is nice, which also gives him that shine. His eyes are actually kind of a silver with a black pupil, which is nice. So again, everything on this figure shines. The chest and the legs and the shin, all his armor platings and whatnot. A very nice kind of like gold color so this guy is very extravagant he's very bright he's very shiny and again that's just what appealed me to this figure was just just the brightness of him and again I'm starting to get into marmots and m1s and so on and so forth I'm starting to get into those figures a little more even though that they may not be accurate or they may be disproportionate and deformed not the right color you know, I'm starting to grow fond of those figures, mainly Hedras. You know, Hedra is one of those monsters that in the Marmots and M1s and all that stuff, the crazy colors just look great with Hedra because it kind of goes with the movie, if you think about it, you know, 70s, psychedelic funk, you know, all that stuff. So, but it's like Hedra is something that I want to definitely start getting more of in the crazy color range. You know, I don't, I don't even care if it's like the same mold of the figure. It's kind of like with James, who I got this from, and his uh, Desu Gojis. He has all of the same figure, but they're all different variants, all different colors. I kind of want to do the same thing, but with Hedra. So, um, definitely. But uh, this is another great addition to the start of my Marmot collecting. Uh, again, not a big fan of, it, of the movie. But uh, this figure, it looks cool. You know, Rodan was one of the monsters that looked decent in the film. And again, just the colors on this guy are just insane. Again, the, now let's go on to detail. I feel like I'm going off in a whole bunch of different directions. Maybe I'm just rusty from doing figure reviews. But the armor plating looks amazing. I just love the way that that looks. It just looks great. 
the wrinkles and folds in the membrane of his wings, decently well sculpted. Onto his back here, all his you know skin, whatnot, very, very nicely well done. Even down here near his tail where he almost has kind of like a feather design, very nicely well done. His claws on his hands and his feet, very nice, pointy and curved. His arms that go onto his wings, you have some actually nice signs of, you know, muscle tone in there. Rodan's been kind of pumping some iron, so he looks good. All the detail in the knuckles and everything look really good. The face, definitely very awesome. The face and just all the wrinkles and the folds and whatnot and his skin and uh, his beak and whatnot look great. The two horns protruding out the back side of his skull look really good. Overall, I mean, the detail on the neck, everything. Very nice detailed figure, and again, just the paint just makes everything pop on this guy. Not just the figure himself, but just all the detail, it really just makes shine, you know. It just looks great. Um, articulation on this guy, not a whole lot. His head can, you kind of can tilt it from side to side. It's really stiff though, I'm not going to force it, because again, it's a marmot. I really don't care about articulation. And his legs... You can kind of kick him out forward like that. They kind of have like a swivel up here at the um, where they connect to his kind of like waist area. So you can kind of pivot it out that way. And because of the tail and whatnot, you really can't get him back that far. So really you can just kind of kick him out. But again, there's really not a whole hell lot you can do with this guy. Except get him to where he'll stand pretty much flat. And there you go. That's about it. Um, I want to say later on, you know, when I do get my own like house and whatnot, uh, my, definitely my kaiju room, a lot of these guys that are in kind of like a flying pose that have their wings protruding outwards, I think I am going to do one of those ideas to where I hang them from the ceiling and whatnot, so that's probably how he'll be displayed sometime way later in the future when I get a house, but um, definitely he would be one of those ones that he's not going to be on a shelf, I'm actually going to like support him with some like string or something and hang him from the ceiling to where it looks like he's flying but uh anyway you guys that is my review on the final wars rodan from marmot uh great figure thank you again james and i'm gonna get you paid as soon as i can sorry for the wait it, it, it's, it's just really tough right now so if you watch this review bear with me um, I don't want to lose that trust that you have in me. That's, that's a big deal to me. You know, I never want to let anybody down. That's for sure. So, um, you know, I, I do kind of feel pressured a little bit, but I know he told me he doesn't want me to feel pressured. Anyway, you guys, blah, blah, blah. that's it for my review on this Marmot Final Wars Rodan. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next figure review. Thank you for watching.